What's up, everybody? Let's talk about your beloved Elden Ring. Now, the intention of this video is not to shit on your game, okay? Can I sit here and tell you that it's a bad game? Of course not. Um, I can tell you it's a frustrating game. I can tell you it's a highly enraging game. It is a game that makes me not want to play video games anymore. Let me tell you what I like about Elden Ring. Okay, I like that when you fire up Elden Ring, you feel like you're playing a mature rated game. I love the art style. I like the fact that I feel like the game was made for adults. That's what I like about the game. I'll tell you what, I had about 30, 30 plus hours into Elden Ring, and then I fired up Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Uh, through Game Share. My, my guy Blaze4K bought it. I Game Share with him, fired it up. I played that game about 10 minutes. After playing Elden Ring, that feels like you're thrusted into Sesame Street. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't take more than 10 minutes of that game before I shut it off, uninstalled it. I fired up that WWE through Game Share, turned it off, uninstalled it. So the overall tone of Elden Ring is top-notch. I love the darkness of it. I love the way the armor looks. I love the way the weapons look. I love the way some of the enemies look. I like how terrifying some of the enemies look. Now, you know, you're kind of taken out when you fight a giant flower or a giant tree. Um, but for the most part, the art style is the shining star of Elden Ring for me. In fact, that's why I have, I ended up with 50 plus hours in Elden Ring. And I'll tell you, for the 50 plus hours of that game, I probably enjoyed um, none of it. Okay, that's, that's a lie. I was at a point in the beginning after I spent 10 hours on Margot, Margot, however you want to say it. I spent 10 hours on him at level 14. I finally beat him. But the fact that I had to spend 10 hours on them, it's my own fault. I get it. I should have went. I should have leveled up. Oh, it's all, yeah, don't blame it on the game. I get it. I hear you. I'm not saying it's the game's fault. I kind of am saying it's the game's fault. But, you know, whatever. Went back, leveled up. Um, I followed a guide from this um, VD Vaddy or whatever the hell he is. He says... Get overpowered early. It took me like five hours to follow this strategy. Went into some caves, fell off some cliffs, uh, fell down a ravine in there, found a boss, got my ass kicked by him. But um, Margit does teach you the overall essence of the boss, boss battles. And, you know, you kind of get a lay of the land of how these boss battles work. So... The bosses afterwards seemed kind of easy. The little bosses that I was coming across. So I used this strategy that this guy had. I leveled up. Got to like level 40, I want to say. Then I continued on after Margaret. Went into the castle. Crushed the castle. There was a knight in there behind a locked door that whooped my ass. Dude, this knight was relentless. I'm like, I'm level 40. So I went back in. Use some cheap tactics on him. I don't remember what I did, but I beat him. I was like, oh my gosh. He was so freaking hard. Then I found that spider thing that you fight in the beginning. Destroyed that. Um, but I destroyed it with just brute force. I, I, was, I was a good enough level. I leveled up my weapon. I get to Godric. I beat him on my first try. Threw his summons. Gov Godric was surprisingly easy because... Of how much time I spent on Margaret. The attacks I could see coming. You know what I mean? Pretty obvious what he was going to do. I seen a, a something on Twitter of him pulling off a dragon head and using the fire. So I knew to just run behind him. So that wasn't, that wasn't no big deal. So I continue on with the game. And I got no clue where to go. Uh, I'm, I'm struggling. I'm trying to figure out where to go. And I know a lot of you guys like that aspect. You like... That you don't know where to go. People, I don't I don't have this kind of time, okay? I have GPS for a reason. I hate to be lost in the real world. Why the hell do I want to be lost in a game where I'm trying to enjoy myself and have fun? So I'm having to look up more YouTube videos. Find out where to go. Talk to Blaze. He tells me there's a key behind a dragon. Go and get the key. I start to co-op. Co-op is dumb. 
because Blaze was so overleveled that he's just shitting on everybody before I even get to him. So that, that felt like a big waste of time. So I didn't want to co-op anymore. I keep playing the game, do some boss, do some more boss battles. I go up against this golden guy. He was pretty easy, like this golden king. I don't know what he was called. Fight him, fight a bunch of knights, get into this city, this glowing city. I can't use my horse no more. Fight these two knights. I had to do that co-op because those suckers were a pain in the ass. You know, the two, the two guys on the horses. The one you fight in the very beginning that absolutely decimates you. I kind of had to cheese him with the horse in the very beginning. But anyways, back to the city of gold. I'm in the city. And just everything is so gosh damn powerful, man. Everything. So I tell, Blaze tells me he can drop me a crap ton of souls, XP, whatever you want to even, runes. I don't know what they're called. Whatever you use to level up. So he drops me like 10 million souls. Like he drops me some crazy astronomical number. Um, and we did this like two or three times. So I level up to some crazy ass number. And I'm still, when I get hit, like my power's going just all the way down, you know? And I'll get to a boss and I hit the, like I got to this giant. It reminds me of, um, it reminds me of uh, Ares. It reminds me of Ares from God of War. That's who this big ass giant reminds me of. My vigor is like up to like 45, crazy number. It just absolutely decimates me with one hit. I may have been a little weak, like I may have had a little health gone, but he hits me one time through some crazy attack that I thought I dodged. I'm dead. I'm like, I'm this, I'm, I'm this high ass level. I'm still getting slapped with one shot. So I look on YouTube again, trying to find a way to cheese this clown. And I, I see like something where he jumps off a cliff and I try it. It doesn't work. They must have patched it. So I said, all right, oh, whatever. I'm just going to beat him straight up. So I went into my Ashes of War and I used the one where you disappear and reappear, which makes it a lot easier, actually. I forget what it's called. You vanish and reappear real quick. You can just slip and slide. I actually like that much better in the role because before everything I'm fighting, Roll, roll, roll. The attack, the attack um, scheme seems very, very basic. Slash, slash, heavy attack, roll, and then some crazy Ash of War. And the thing that I hate is when you're going up against a boss battle and they throw these heavy attacks at you, unless you parry them, unless you parry, they're walking through your powerful attacks. You cannot interrupt most of their attacks. 90% of their attacks. As far as I know, every time I try to do an Ash of War, if they're doing a power attack, you're, it doesn't matter what your attack is. They're going to walk right through it. So you just got to wait. You got to be patient and chip away. Dude, that's what I love about the game. That's not what I love about the game. Very aggravating. So I use this disappear, reappear scheme, and I, I, I go against a giant. Every time he rolls for a mile out of my way, I activate the horse. I go chase him down get on his feet and just slash him up with the Wolverine claws. And I beat him. Uh, he killed me like, I want to say he killed me like 12, 13 times. Super aggravating. I'm a high level man. I just decimated this gargoyle. And dude, I decimated him with ease. In fact, that was a highlight of the game. Um, I, I, think, I think it took me two or three times. And I had him whooped. And he, he seemed powerful. And I said, see, that's how I like it to win. Okay, I want to feel skillful when I play the games. You know what I mean? Well, you got to grind and get good. People, I had, a, I had a lot of time in the game at this point. And then when I get to the giant, I'm taking away this much health with each hit. But he hits me like my whole health bar goes down. So I'm constantly having to heal. I'm hitting the wrong thing and my guy's going oh, and then boom, I get slapped in my face. Or I try to heal and people are throwing their attacks at me while I'm trying to heal. The game is designed to piss you off. And I get that it gives you options. I get it. I get you can do it and play it your way. It doesn't handhold. I get all that stuff. I beat the giant, right? And when I'm done with the giant, I'm going up. I go to this bonfire and I, I'm looking. I was like... I don't even want to play this shit no more. I, I, it's not like I got beat. I, I, I had a beat.
But I'm like, what am I doing? What am I even doing this for? Everything I do in this game pisses me off. Everything. I'll go, some crazy enemy comes out of nowhere in a new area. You, you don't know what he's capable of. And he comes out with these crazy ass attacks and kills you. You, you know, you think, you think you got the game knocked. And then some new enemy comes along and just slaps the shit out of you. And I'm just sitting here. I'm just like, what, what am I even, what, what am I doing? You know what I mean? I'm going to go up against this Melina or whatever she is. I, I seen I seen some videos on Twitter of this crazy these crazy attacks that she's doing. I think with the moon veil. Blaze dropped me that too, by the way. And uh I'm just like I I'm done. I'm done. This 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 is Call of Duty level of frustration. This this is legit. Like that's how I feel playing this is how I feel playing Call of Duty multiplayer. That's why. You remember that video I made? I'm done with Call of Duty. I haven't played Call of Duty since. Not since. That's how I felt. It was Dark Souls 3, just open world. But it doesn't even feel open world. You've got to pick a direction. Pick a direction. You know, it's, it's, it's like linear open world. Does that make sense? Matter of fact, my son, my son actually just told me that. It's just, I don't know, man. I just, it's so gosh damn aggravating and I hear you get good guys but I'm, I'm sitting there and I just turned it off and I uninstalled it. I said that I just reached i reached my point you know what I mean I reached that point where I was just like this is pointless I'm getting zero enjoyment out of this zero you know what my favorite thing to do in Elden Ring is go back to the starting area that first camp with the soldiers that look like the Braveheart soldiers that very first camp before the castle where that big ass giant is, my favorite part was getting leveled up, getting a new level, getting a new weapon, and going back there and slapping the shit out of those dudes. You know what I mean? In fact, you know what would be fun? Getting super over leveled, super overpowered, and going back and shitting on uh, Margaret. That would be fun. You know, after the hellacious, torturous time he gave me. And I, I hear, I can already hear the comments that's what the game's about. It's about perseverance. It's about why. Why am I doing what I'm doing? The, I, it felt like every boss was essentially the same thing. I felt like I was doing the same stupid moves. Same rolling and rolling and rolling and slashing and slashing and rolling and rolling. It just felt like the same thing again and again. Let me be a boss. That's what I want to be. You can't be a boss. You gotta let, No, let me do the cool ass shit that these dudes are doing. These crazy ass attacks that they're doing that I can't do. That's the kind of shit that I want to do. Like in God of War, you get all these combinations, all these different attacks you can do. Bro, it's Ashes of War. I don't, I want more than just one single attack. One single crazy attack. I want to be that boss. I want the player to be empowered. Anyways, so I hear, I hear they patched, they patched the game. They took out like... They gimped some stuff and made like a boss harder. And I, dude, I'm like, you know what? Take your game and stick it up your ass. That's how I feel. And since then, that was that was over a week ago. I haven't played anything. The game completely got me to where I don't even want to play video games. Like, think about that for a second. I don't even want to play shit. Because I love the art style so much, but the frustration that comes with it. And then I'm flat, I have flashbacks to Call of Duty. I'm like, this, this game is just a big waste. If all I'm going to do is get pissed off when I play a game, I don't want to play it. So the other day, I fired up my beloved, my beloved Max Payne 3. I threw it on hard. And in two nights, I beat it. Start to finish. And I said, that's, this is why I play games. This. And, 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 and say what you want. Elden Ring is grindy. I don't care what anybody says. That shit is grindy, and I can't tell you how much I hate grinding. I hate grinding. I hate it. Now, if you're super skilled, you don't have to grind. I'm not super skilled. I'm very mediocre at the game, okay? And I feel like most players are very mediocre at the game. So a lot of you out there that enjoy the game, I love that you enjoy the game. I understand somewhat while you enjoy the game in the very beginning when when everything's like everything you come across you don't know what they're gonna do it's kind of terrifying you know what i mean you don't want to lose your souls 
I get the appeal of that, but that shit just wears on you, man. It wears on you, and it's just like, listen, I got enough stress in my life, man. I don't need to fire up my, my, my gaming hobby and be just as stressed. You know what I mean? I come home from a 16-hour day. Let me fire up some Elden Ring. And uh, boom, some boss comes around and slaps the shit at me when I have 50 hours in the game. And I'm like, get this shit. I, I, I want to sell my goddamn systems. That's what I want to do. Anyways, I fired up Max Payne and uh, I'm like, that's what I need, man. This is what I need. I, I'm sick of these giant open world games. Give me, give me something linear. That's, that's got a heavy emphasis on story. And don't tell me Guardians of the Galaxy. People, I don't want to play. I want something dark like Elden Ring. I love the darkness of the Souls games. I love it. I just don't like the frustration that comes with it. Um, heavy emphasis on story with just tip-top gameplay. Something like The Last of Us. Something that tells me where to F to go. You know what I mean? You can act like you don't like the handhold. Man... A lot of you out there, I'm not saying all, a lot of you out there are full of shit. Because I know damn well you looked at YouTube just like I did. But uh, The Last of Us, Max Payne 3, The Witcher 3 tells you where to go. I love The Witcher 3. Heavy emphasis on story. There's a story in Elden Ring, I know. There's lore. But you gotta look for it. You know, and the, the characters, oh, you must be a tarnished. Get this shit out of here. Give me give me some cool captivating story to go with what I'm going to, to go with what I'm doing. Give me a character I can connect with. You know, I just saw the Saints Row customization trailer. All this super freaking whack job customiz Okay, good. I need to connect with my character. I'm not connecting with these characters that are come out in games. I I, I tried Horizon Forbidden West. Graphics are amazing. Gameplay feels nice. I can't connect with this character. With this drab, boring, lame-ass character. I just can't do it. I feel like games just... <sighs> That's why I ain't made videos. You know what? Elden Ring, dude, I'm telling you. Elden Ring made me want to smash all my gaming systems. It really, really did. It really, really did. I hear the get goods. I hear that you just suck at games. You know, whatever. Whatever. But, uh, you, you guys tell me, is it a 97? I don't think so. I don't think it's a 97. I'd say objectively with 50 plus hours, it, it's an 8 out of 10 game. It's a solid game. There's no doubt about it. To say this shit is perfect is insane. It's insane. Now, if you're just super skilled and this and that, uh, you know, awesome. Must be nice. I wish I could be as good at you as Elden Ring. I would have enjoyed it a lot more, but I'm just a mediocre player. You know what I mean? So, that's all I got, man. I'm just rambling on. Uh, I'll holler at you.